Hello everyone and welcome to Paper and Moose and welcome to round two of the what could be the best pallets at a storage auction I've ever purchased. I have all these boxes to go through yet. We've had designer clothes, we've had some high-end glassware, who knows what is next but I'm excited so join me if you ever wonder what it's like to buy a storage palette from a storage auction then be sure to stay tuned as we go through these boxes and find some treasure gotta be prepared so if you missed the first episode of this palette auction then be sure to go check that out if I remember I'll put a link in the description below as all the youtubers say so this is a mixture of the two palettes that I purchased um, I did purchase a third palette and that had the military items on it but the other two palettes were like high-end fashion clothing I found a light box from France um, a whole bunch of patterns and then in the not high-end palette I found a lot of glassware a bunch of CDs and then here uh, let me get you close we look like we have like this is so clean I really don't even want to wear gloves because I'm afraid that the gloves are going to get the items dirty and we don't need to get high-end fashion things dirty so yes looks like we have what's a wall for oh this is actually it looks like more patterns we have some receipts monocle a briefing on global affairs business and culture we have looks like it's some ribbons i'll have to go through that more sakara deliver oh that's like a coupon <laughs> oh is that a lockbox? something made in italy it looks fancy whatever oh i don't think it's a safe there are drawers so Janya Watan, I'm not even pronouncing that correctly. Janya Wada Watanabe. That's a, a puffy short jacket. I'm scared to even look at what that might what that might uh, be valued at. But let's try. Oh, I don't have my phone. You guys can look it up and see. I'm sure it's not cheap. Whatever it is. I'll put that back there. Oh, we have a stink bug <laughs> that guy's here for the ride uh yes this looks like oh those are fancy organizers Oops. oh these are for light box this is like a light box no or it's a little case kind of like yeah it's kind of like the kind you could buy at the dollar 25 store but these are probably 20 bucks a piece those are nice storage so this is like your storage container box. And yeah, this is exactly what we have in here. I'll show you. So a made in Italy organizer and these drawers pop out. I might actually keep that because I can use that to store my paper and my tape and other supplies that I use for shipping. But that's a great organizer. Definitely better than the plastic ones. Now, I, was this a box we could look in? Um, because again, if you are new at this auction, you are allowed to look through the boxes on the top. Handbags, yes. I remember. Oh man, look at that. Fancy hat. That's actually cute. Oh, we have earmuffs too. Oh man. My ears would not freeze wearing these. They're really soft. Oh, it's like a beach hat. I'm going to be prepared for all seasons. We have nice gloves. A whole bunch of really nice gloves. These are great flea market items. Um, if for the ones that I that I don't want to keep. I think I'm going to I'm going to keep those earmuffs though. Some scarves, gloves. 
we'll have to check just to make sure, you know, none of those gloves are super, I mean, none of the scarves are super fancy brand. We have a couple of purses. Uh, a Kate Spade bag. That could be really good. It has a nice pattern on it. I don't know much about bags and their worth. Um, that looks like she probably never even used it. Oh, these are the, um, oh, I forget the brand of those bags. You know what I mean. Vera Bradley. You have your wet ones in there. You have another, yeah, she stored them with the, these inside to keep them nice and, this is Crouch and Fitzgerald. Never heard of that brand. Now, oh, I wonder if these are good because these are stored in like the, the bag, the, the bag things. Or are they jackets? It says Italy. Mimi Di Carlo. And it's pink. Mimi Di Carlo. Tag's still in there. A few more purses in the bottom. This is a Jack Georges. Jack Georges. I'm sure it's not Jack Georges. And we have one more in the bag. This is another Kate Spade. I don't know if they have an authentic authentication, an authentic whatever authentic process. Authentic. I can't even pronounce it. So yeah, this is another Kate Spade. Now this one's definitely had some usage, but obviously took care enough to put it in the bag and then put wrapping uh, tissue paper inside to help keep its form. So bag of purses. That's what we got here. And the tag again. So just to give you a little peek in this box, I don't think I'm gonna go through it on camera. Ooh, we have all these shoes. Geox, I can't even pronounce it. Just tons and tons of shoes. Oh, those are fancy, more of that brand. I actually like them. I'm sure they're not, not of the cheap variety. These are all those. You can have fancy flip-flops and slippers. Pan America, Fair, Fairfield, California. Oh, those are, those are kind of shot. Arch support, gels, tons of arch supports. A travel adapter set, oh, that's great. You can always use those, even though I'm not doing any international traveling. Nine West, those are cute. What size are these shoes? Oh, they look like they're seven and a half. So I'm gonna go through this box. If I find anything super interesting, Sam Edelman, I'll let you know for the next box. So I said if I found anything interesting, I did not open the bag, but this has jewelry inside. Looks like maybe costume. Oh, there's only one tray, so. That's marked Montana. Look at that fancy thing. Nancy Nichols servicing, oh, that's just a label. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I'll have to go through the jewelry. You know, it's not a full tray, but interesting that it's in there. I think I may have found more jewelry because there are boxes that look like necklace boxes and then there's a big gold box underneath. <sighs> Let's breathe. Let's breathe. We gotta get through all the shoes. The Met. Oh wow. 
Again, I, I'm just seeing these first like you guys are, so I have no idea what the worth it. I mean, this is, this feels pretty heavy. I don't think, I don't know if Jade, I don't know. Oh my gosh, is this, is this gold? It's marked. Okay, I'm not wearing my gloves for this. I can't tell, but this definitely could be gold. 12, well, 12 carat. That's good, right? <laughs> Ten karat gold. So we have some tie tacks with this key on it. I don't know what that means. Probably some type of brand. Oh, if if that case below is filled with all jewelry, I might start crying. <sighs> this kit. This is not gold, but oh my gosh. Oh, it's a lion's head. I'll have to see if there's a marker, uh, a maker on it. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's all earrings. But we have to get to that big box below. Watch it be filled with shoes. Oh wait, there's another box. Tiffany, Tiffany and Company. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> Oh man, <laughs> this bold me. It's United States Golf Association. Oh, but this could, was this made by Tiffany? Do they make like this kind of stuff? Cause that fits perfectly in this box. Oh, you're tricking me here, people. All right, let's get the, oh my, if this like, okay, shoes get out of my way. There's one little jewelry box. Oh, there are rings. Eight two five. It's Thailand. Eight eight two five. Doesn't look like nine eight two five. All right, we gotta get to this guy. Oh my god. Oh shoot, don't fall out. Oh no, the drawer fell out. Darn it. All right. I'm gonna make a mess. Cause I've already lost some jewelry, it sounds like. Oh my gosh, they're full. It's every drawer is full. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Now the pieces fell in the bottom. Now again, I have no idea what any... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There's a pocket watch. There's rings. There's charms. What is this? This is my... I have to breathe. Oh my goodness. I can't even get this drawer is stuck. It won't even open. Again, I have no clue what any of this stuff is worth. It, but this is amazing. To me it is. A pocket watch. Let me calm myself down. This, in regards to reselling, this purchase, my $135 that I spent on the three pallets, there's no doubt that I'm going to make my money back plus, 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 plus. Now it's not postcards, it's not ephemera, it's not old photographs, it's not old diaries. That still would be my dream pallet, but I wouldn't want to resell that stuff. So here, all right, so let's, 
let's keep looking. I, I haven't looked through all the drawers, but I want to say I think my favorite piece so far are these. They're hands. Um, I don't know if that is ivory. If it is, you can't sell it um, online. This piece, this ring is 14 karat gold and it is weighty and it has six diamonds or jewels but it's missing one so this is probably something that you know a lot of people they they scrap 14k because you can get a decent amount of money for it but this is something that's very pretty that should not be scrapped it should be sold as a jewelry piece i, I can't tell you Ooh, oh my gosh it's a marine ring oh this is staying with me we are not it's tiny but it's for the marines that is really small oh, it fits on that finger i can't get it off oh my gosh wow that one's staying with me um i didn't open this oh that's so cute holy The price tag on this says $197.50 for this spider brooch. <sighs> Italy. Sterling silver. <clears throat> this will help pay for my dental bills. I have had a root canal and a crown in the process of being replaced over the last month and I have put out I can't tell you I don't want to tell you how much money so this this little this jewelry box will help go towards paying that off <sighs> Whew. I have to calm myself down uh, that easily has to be the the best find for me ever in a storage unit I don't have to deal with trash. I don't have to deal with food that's been sitting in a unit. I don't have to deal with garbage bags or with pans and pots. A whole jewelry box filled. I, I needed that. I needed it. Now let's get to the next box. This says suits, summer suits and dresses. Unless there's a hidden, a hidden jewelry box in this one. I can't even imagine. It's heavy, that's for sure. So, let me show you. These are, again, the wardrobe box. So, as you can see, you have the metal bar. And it's pretty much, you just take your closet out and put it on here. We have some nice Pendleton. Uh, that Carlisle. Coldwater Creek. So I went through all the clothing, sorted it. Some pieces will have to be looked up. We have another one of these made in Italy organizers, which I really like. This, is this a fan? Is this like one of those Dyson? Air multiplier technology. Oh, there's another jacket. Is this Bluetooth? There's no, where's the bottom? Maybe the bottom's down there. Definitely looks like a, something fancy. Sorry, you're all over the place here. Oh, there's the bottom, I think. Yeah, it is. Oh, gosh. Let's get this out. Oh, jeez. As I break it, it's like a little decorative piece. It is a Dyson. Those things are like hundreds of dollars. That is a legit Dyson fan that like doesn't have like the fan part or what you know what I mean this thing is not cheap like Dyson is a crazy brand expensive brand I get my fans on sale at like Boscov's oh North Face I can probably wear this though I'm not like a huge fan of this like puffer material but North Face isn't cheap either and those organizers we have a pink tray and there's another bag. Catherine. Oh, it's another garment bag. Catherine 
Milan Milan Milandrino. Wow, that Dyson. That thing is. I mean, that's probably worth the hundred thirty-five dollars I paid for all these pallets. That's a good. I wonder if I should keep it. <laughs> we'll have to try it out. So all these little organizers are filled. <laughs> All the neighbors going by. I don't even know who that was. We got more tea. What is this? That's awesome. Look at that bangle. It has like a um, another bracelet inside. That's really cool. <gasps> is this filled with jewelry too? Money. Oh my gosh, my day. This is my lucky day. These are cute little change purses. It is. It's filled with coins, but I don't think they're American. They're not. These yens? The Mongo Renmin Ying Nang. Here's a Euro. These are really cute change purses. Yeah, it's all foreign coins. These are adorable. That's all. Normally I don't do that, but these are the cleanest units ooh, I've ever come across. Look at this. This is super delicate. This is silver, sterling silver. More jewelry. Oh my gosh. Now I don't know if we can top that uh, jewelry box, but we have pins. That's a really nice wallet. This is probably the longest storage unit video ever, but that's really nice, but hey, that's cute. This is a planner, a leather case for a planner. What do we have? Are these hand warmers? Yep. Are these vintage? Because those actually sell really well. No, they're newer, but they're nice. Nice little leather pouch. Screws. We have just more leather watch, uh, leather wallets. Really nice shape. High quality stuff, like well made. Saks Fifth Avenue. Oh, Target gift card. Oh my gosh, is it there? It is. It is. Okay, we have to call. Fifty dollars and it's not used. Oh my gosh, woohoo! <laughs> that is amazing. Is this a Saks Fifth Avenue gift card? Original $100 value. Are you kidding me? .com check balance. Your balance is $50.00. To hear that again, press yeah. 1 to hear your last five transactions. <laughs> now, the Saks Fifth Avenue gift card is old because there's no pin. So, I don't know how I would check it. Um, because when I call the number on the back, it says to call another number. So I'll probably have to do that. But this is also um, after, you know, after so many months of non-use, it takes off like four or five dollars. So there might not be anything left, but 50 buckaroos in Target. Woohoo! The last box. And it looks like we got ourselves another dress form. Oh, wow. This one's... She even has an arm in there. And the stand. We have the stand here. Lend me a hand. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we have some... Oh, there might be something good in there. We have these fancy trash cans. Oh, there's her other arm. <laughs> That's a nice bag. Magnetic, I'm guessing you put, oh, I think it's too small for a laptop. It's probably like a travel cosmetic bag. A towel. We have this guy, made in India, Finnish silver. We have something framed. 
This was dated 1961, this art piece. It looks almost like Medusa-ish. I'll have to look more into that. We have, oh wow, this is why I was so, a Bracknell general purpose electronic bench scale, 250 pound capacity. This is actually great because I did need a new scale for my shipping. Um, I'm sure that this is way, this is 50, oh that's a $50 product for stamps, but this sucker is heavy. I'm sure this is way more expensive than the scale I have. Maybe I should sell it if it's worth a lot of money. I don't need a high tech high tech scale like that. Shirt, cute shirt, polka dot shirt. What the heck? Oh, it's a sewing machine. It's called the Essex Miniature Sewing Machine. It's all over the place. There's one that has a bid in Europe for $7. Then there's other like United Kingdom, 120 sold. Okay, this is more, this is it's $55, 50, 100. So we'll have to do a little more research, but it does not have the case. I don't see there's a top that should go with it, but that's nice. And we still have some artwork, it looks like. We have a Polaroid. We have some disinfecting wipes. And last but not least, we have some artwork. Maybe, maybe Picasso. Maribel Du Bois. Wow, that's nice. It's number eight of 100. Uh, I mean, I don't, I mean, this might be something that I take to an auction house. It's definitely not an eBay piece. I don't, I don't believe. This one is in French. I can't even read what it sold for. <sighs> yeah, I don't, I don't think this is a, an internet piece. Not at all. That could be it. Auction piece. Then we have another one. 14 of 100. <sighs> Need to breathe. <laughs> well, that wraps it up for this. Uh, <laughs> video number two of these palettes. I, I'm I'm speechless. Speechless, shocked can't believe this happened any word you want to use to describe all those other words insert your own synonym definitely in terms of reselling value the best palettes i have ever purchased hopefully at some point i can top that but to have the designer clothing we have the other high-end items these beautiful pieces of vintage artwork all the mannequins, the designer container systems, the $50 gift card, <laughs> and of course the jewelry. I, I really don't know what to say besides I'm so glad I spent $135 and I wish I would have bought a few more palettes, but you have to, you know, I'm, I'm just grateful for what I got and that finally, finally, I found some good palettes. And hopefully this streak will continue in the future. Definitely makes buying all those you know, not so great palettes and not so great units with trash worth it. So, oh my gosh. Well, I hope you enjoyed this because I know I did. And I have a lot of research to do and hopefully a lot of money to be made. Man, great, great day. So I hope you enjoy this. Be sure to stay tuned. You never know what I might find at the next storage auction. Whether it will top this, I have no clue, but fingers crossed, let's hope so. Anyway, I'm gonna get going. I have a lot to pack up, a lot to research, and we'll get you out of this, this noise. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your creatures. Maybe they like to watch this stuff too when you're gone away for the day. But anyway, thanks again for watching. Have a great day. I will see you all next time for the next adventure here at Paper and Moose.